evening, TJ here at Imaginary Gallery. Welcome once again. Tonight's topic is my view of abuse. We're talking abuse, whether it be verbal abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, any of any type of abuse. It tends to have a specific effect on people, which turns out to be to either work out in one of two ways. And the uh, philosophy I've come up with is that if the abuse occurred in early years, like when you were first growing up as a child, well, you hadn't developed yet as a person. And you, chances are you were spending your, the majority of your time trying to avoid the pain and get the pleasure that life allows. So you didn't turn, you in turn did not really develop a healthy sense of self because you were too busy trying to avoid being abused as much as you could. So when that happens, because your growth was retarded, you'll probably end up to be the first of the two ways, which means you will go on through the rest of your life finding new victims to try to resolve that childhood trauma on and abuse them, whether it's, again, any, any of those three ways. And you will perpetuate that abuse as some, in some form of attempt to refill your emptied vessel that has a hole in the bottom. The other or second way is if you didn't suffer abuse as a child, but as you grew a little bit older, later found yourself in an abusive situation, your reaction will be much different. In those cases, what will happen is that because you've developed empathy and sympathy and you care about others and you believe in the greater good of mankind and so on, well, if someone abuses you and you later find out about it, you're likely to react in the second way, which is to be like a crusader, to say, oh my, I experienced this abuse. It was terrible. So your, your uh, objective at that point is to spread the word. You don't want anyone else to abuse or to be abused. And you might end up changing the ways of your own life in order to prevent such abuse. Because it's kind of like the kid who grew up with a mother who never let him listen to music. Well, that kid grows up and gets pregnant and says, you know what? I'm going to make sure my kid listens to all the music he or she wants. It's kind of like an altruistic type response. So that's my view on the, on the uh, differences in abuse. But I'm very concerned and interested in your viewpoint. If anybody out there has a different perspective, please share it in the comments below. And subscribe if you enjoy this little tidbit of information. Have a great day.